Hey everybody, how's it going and welcome back. So this video is why you should rent a Valheim server with Nitrado right now in October. So Valheim's Viking Saga is charging full steam ahead in late 2025, with the September 18th Call to Arms update still dominating discussions for its revamped combat, think deeper weapon styles, smarter enemy AI and balanced builds that make every raid feel epic. Steam peaks are around 50k range, fueled by the Ashlands grind. Like, literally everybody is grinding right now, and for the hype of the Deep North up biome dropping later this year. Um, probably early next year as well. Uh, as for the 1.0 finale, the PS5 port announcement for 2026 has console crossplay dreams come alive, uh, pulling in fresh crews for co-op, and if you're sl uh, rallying your shield brothers, you know, a dedicated server for non-negotiable lag-free boss melts and persistent worlds, Nerato remains the go-to host for instant Viking-ready setups. So, let's get in to show you how it can make your very own server, and it is very, very simple. So, the first thing you're going to do is bring up the Nitrado website, and if you use the link in the description, it will take you straight over here, and you'll be able to set your server up. So if you scroll down, you'll probably see it here. If you don't see it there, just type in Val here and you'll have the crossplay already enabled, right? So here you want to choose your server. So if you want to do a custom one, you can. So how many days you want. And if you do it for free, uh, a whole year, you get like a 20% discount. So I'm just going to do it for three days on this one. And I'm just going to choose prepaid for this instead of subscription as I already have credits on my account, and then I'm going to choose what's good for me, which is the best MS, and choose that configuration. Once done, you'll see that you have, if you have credit in your wallet already, it will go there. If not, you can pay directly from here, or you can do it via the subscription model like I showed you. If you have a promo code, which you should use the link in the description for, it should give you a little discount. If it doesn't, it means it's already run out, and try better next time. So we're going to click that and your order is set up. So then you just click set up your server and it should look like this. It'll be a question mark. Okay. Now I've already got one here, which deletes in six days. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. So actually I'll leave that one. That one's, we'll start fresh. That way you know how to do it all. So once it's um, finished setting up, which takes a couple of minutes, I'll be right back. Never mind. It's right there. So we'll click on the web interface. And that should take a, like a minute or two um, to load. It, sometimes the website gets a bit slow, but um, it's usually with the amount of users on it. So here you'll see the dashboard and the server is stopping. So we're going to return once the server has stopped completely. If it goes to server is running, click stop server and just wait for it to stop. Uh, because we cannot edit settings if it is running. All right, so now that your server is stopped, click on settings and then go to general. That's on the left-hand side, okay? Here, you want to give your server a quick name. Move my mobile, uh, and then we'll just call it Ren World, like so. Here, make sure you give your server a password that's easy. Nice and simple. I think it's like it's got to be a certain thing, like five characters minimum. There you go. Uh, world name, I would put this to just give it an easy thing. So something that you know, if in case you want to upload your own world or whatever. Here you've got your public and you've got crossplay enabled. So that's for Microsoft Store or Game Pass. And then just click Save Changes. When you click Save Changes, sometimes it boots the server up. That's fine, because most of the stuff that we're going to do now doesn't involve anything. So then configuration profiles, if you want different variations of the general settings. Config files is just general settings, but in a more, like, um, you know, text-based document. Right now, the server is finished and setting itself up. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the server from here. Now, the reason for that is we're going to we want the server to do its first initial checks and make sure there's no issues and the server's running. So 
once you got here you've got your server status and everything else your host name all of that kind of stuff next we're going to go into player control if a player joins the server their name should appear here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring up valheim and hold on two seconds i'm going to copy this is how you join your server right so you just copy the information up here grab that click start game click the character you want to do if you don't have a character make a new one right and then you're going to add a server and you're just going to click add server here like so now if it shows the red x it means your server is still setting up just click the refresh button and eventually it will appear here showing that it's on okay so i have another server that i no longer use which i did for the purpose of this video um but i had issues with like trying to do stuff which i'll get to right now so let's say for example you're trying to do the uh the add-ons which is valheim plus now do note that valheim plus has not been updated in almost a year so you can go to the valheim plus area here and you'll see that the last time it was updated was in well it's actually been over a year you know so it might not work if it does not work there are alternatives that you can use but i'm not going to cover them in this video because it takes too bloody long so here you'll see that you've got your player control your live server console which will show you everything that's happening right so if it you'll see if it's running and if there's any issues it will tell you okay click the refresh button in game every now and again if it still shows the x it should take about 10 minutes though um sometimes it takes a couple of minutes but sometimes it takes a lot longer so do note that so what i'm going to do is i'll be right back once the server has started so just if you're having the same issue just wait okay so now that your server should have been loaded up it should look a little bit like this it takes a little while right but especially the first initial setups so once done just hit connect okay so i'm just gonna start a new character for this did that while i was waiting right and then you'll get your password don't forget that your server password is already on here just go to general and then show your password that you've got there if you haven't changed it just use the one that is there otherwise it, you can't change it while the server's live once done hit enter and there you go you should be into your very own nitrado valheim server and i hope everything i did helped you along the way to get in there now i know it's as simple as sometimes as you know you can read it for yourself but some people you know have um a few issues setting up their own servers and that's how so yeah if you're experiencing long wait time it is the initial sell that's it all right guys thanks very much for watching don't forget to that like and subscribe button little bell notification and i'll see you all next time thanks for watching